play around with that. We're close. We're super close. So let me talk you through what we've got here. It's a nine month old Australian Shepherd. He's a boy, he's pretty gnarly. Powering this whole thing, it's a micro squirt V3. I've got everything just tucked under the seat, but just that strewn about for now. Um, running the ignition, two LS2 truck coils. I went one step colder on the plugs. I'm also using a late model fuel pump that I fabbed into a peanut style tank. Here it is in the bike, no leaks. And replacing the carburetor, fuel pressure regulator, fuel pressure gauge, fuel pump, and fuel filter is a throttle body. And it's got two injectors, a high pressure fuel line, a map sensor, really everything you need to replace that carburetor. I had to make my own trigger wheel and I was able to do that on my CNC plasma cutter. Here it is right here. I literally cut it out of some scrap metal, that's why it's yellow. But the teeth are much smaller. It's a 12-1 trigger wheel now, whereas the factory, it just had two teeth. Finally, you enter in all the settings to Tuner Studio so you can upload them to the MicroSquare ECU, and that's how the bike knows what to do so it can run. All of that brings us to our first start attempt. It's usually not pretty, but that's how these types of builds go. So after blowing Bonzer's eardrums out, I'm speculating here that the ignition timing is probably off, which is why it's backfiring and spitting back through the intake. So I'm gonna tweak on that and see what happens. You can tell it's way better now, and all I'm doing is advancing and retarding the timing until it runs well enough that I can put a timing light on it and really dial it in. That moment right there was a huge milestone in the build because it verifies a lot of the wiring was done correctly and it also shows the configuration is, is good in the micro squirt. So now I can dial my timing in and I also bought a wideband oxygen sensor so I can start to tune the air to fuel ratio. So if you guys haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that's the end of this video but the next video is going to be the tuning video and I hope I can get some some road going shots of the bike and maybe even get in a little bit of boost and see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to the next video. Peace.